Peace fam, welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. Today we wanna to talk about a topic that is very near and dear to many of you because you're in school or you finished school and now you have a lot of student loan debt. So today's subject is that we're gonna discuss with you how you can actually shrink your student loan debt. So there are actually multiple ways that you can do it. So we're gonna discuss all of them so you know and you can take action on these particular topics. The first thing, which is obvious, but many people don't know that is obvious, is to attend affordable school, right? So many people, what they'll do is that they'll try to jump into a four-year university. Um, some people try to attend a private uh, college and it's very expensive. Well, one thing that you can do is that you can actually start off at a community college, save money, and then once you're ready to jump into a four-year university, you can then go and then you can basically attend that particular four-year university and now your the amount of debt that you would have had if you would have just attended a four-year university is now minimized because of the two-year uh, college or community college that you attended uh, prior to going to the university and so we do want you to know about that one now we're going to go to number two seek out scholarships and grants now, every year, the federal government, what they'll do is that they'll allocate around $46 billion in funding uh, to the United States Department of Education so they can allocate to people like yourself who are students as well as people who have completed college, um, but they need some assistance with, you know, basically uh, paying off the student loan debt. And so many people don't really know where to go uh, find uh, these scholarships and grants, but one place that we recommend is scholarships.com. So in scholarships.com, what you do is that once you go through the application process or while you're searching for it, um, you'll then enter your specific uh, state, city, county, etc. And find out how, many, how much funds are being allocated to your particular area in your specific college. Now, once you find this out, you'll go through the application process and hopefully you can be funded. Um, so while you're going through school, you don't have to pay everything and the federal government will then cover some of it. So that's number two. We're going to move on to number three. Number three, pay your student loans back now. Now, once student loans uh, are basically dispersed to the American populace, a lot of people, they think that, well, I'm going to take this money and use it to get a car or I'm going to use it for other purposes. Now, that may seem fine, but then at the end of the day, you'll still have those student loans that you have to pay back. So what we recommend is that you use a portion, be responsible and use, if not all, uh, some or even most of it and use that those particular funds to pay back your student loans. Now, you don't have to actually be uh, out of college or finish with college before you start paying your student loans back. If you're in college and say, for instance, you have a part time job, you can start paying it back now. And while you're paying it back, basically you're not gonna have to pay as much uh, interest at the end of your uh you know of your journey throughout college because now you by the end of the three to four years most of it of not most of it, at least half of it would have already been paid back and therefore you know you wouldn't have to pay as much interest which means that you can save money and keep money in your pocket so what we recommend you do is start paying your student loans back now if you have a part-time job or even a full-time job take some of that money and put it to the side and then use that particular money to go back towards your student loan so you don't have as much student loan debt as you would as you would have if you did not actually pay that debt back number four graduate early I know some people they like the feeling of being in school and being challenged with you know these different courses and doing different things to have these you know all these different experiences um which that could be fine and dandy but the thing about it is that the more classes you take the more debt you owe so what we recommend you do is try to take as many important classes um that or requisite classes that you need um, to get your your degree so you don't have to spend as much time in college and thus take on all this student loan debt. So what we recommend you do is don't spend time taking classes that you don't need um, just for the experience or for whatever reason that you may want to do it. If you're trying to reduce um, your student loan debt, then go ahead and take your classes and finish with it Try to hurry up and finish with your schooling. Therefore, you do not have as much student loan debt as if you would not have, you know, went ahead and expedited the process. 
Number five, employee tuition assistance. What is this? So let's say for instance, you're working on a job, right? And you've been there for two, three, four, five years, and you were looking to either get in college or if you're already in college, but you've never actually discussed with your employer the terms and you know how long it's, it's gonna take you to complete college and what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. This is the good thing. There are many companies that are out there that offer official tuition programs in which they will then take a certain amount of funds and allocate that to their employees so that they can complete college. And so what you should do is you should either speak to your manager, speak to your supervisor, or speak to someone in the HR and ask if they have any programs to assist uh, people such as yourself through college. Now, let's say, for instance, if they don't, right? They say, no, we don't offer any particular programs. What I would recommend you do is convince them that the trade or what you're doing to go, what you're going to school for is directly or even indirectly related to the job description that you currently have. And that if they were to assist you with college per your tuition, that you can take that particular trade or skill back and you can offer them more assistance to help the business grow so it can be a mutual agreement between you and your company in which you can take your knowledge and your skills and then bring it back to the company and then help them flourish and be even more successful so this is something that you should discuss with your employer because if you never had the conversation you may should basically consider having it now all right, family, so we are very happy to have uh, had this discussion with you. If you have any questions, go to credithealing at gmail.com. If you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.